this is our uh, this, this is our attempt at amateur video to show you doodle book. <laughs> so there you go. You want to do a walk around on it first? Yeah. This is Doodlebug designed to haul everything from telephone poles to wood chips. The round bales and, and round bales and whatever and you can Jesse, do. look at all the dancing deck you got for all the girls. Yeah, put a stripper pole in the middle of it, whatever. <laughs> <clears throat> we'll explain this thing to you in a minute. If you guys don't buy it, we're going to take it to John Deere and have them put it in production. And then you can pay big money for it. It's even got a fresh seat in it, guys. Big old fat Thornbird tires too. I got oil my shoes. Can you hear them? <laughs> All right, go for it. Okay. This is all right. This is uh, this this cockpit was designed so that you could get in and out of it easy. Okay, so it's just a step in and step up, like a sky tree. And for your convenience, you got tilt wheel, okay, you got adjustable seat, okay, you got all the gauges, oil, fuel, volt, water. So you got all your necessities as far as that goes. These are your switches, your ignition switch of course. And the focus very good. Okay, and anyway, then we'll go to okay. your switches. So then we got your switches for uh, extra overhead lights, uh, your flashing light, uh, rear work lights. It has running lights front and back, including brake lights for that come on automatically with a key. Um, automatic transmission, just like a car, with overdrive actually. So it goes down the road well. You have. Uh, Four-wheel drive with a choice of high range and low range, along with the indicators. So you have battery light, check engine light, and a four-wheel drive light. So that you know when it's in four-wheel drive, you got an indicator for that. Um, power, four-wheel disc brakes. Um, and these switches are to control your front and rear deck. And I'll get to that in a minute for you. Just a plexiglass windshield to keep the wind out of your face. Um, Easily attached if you want to add more plexiglass later. Right. Um, a toolbox in this deck, you know, for. Put your arm in there. You know, just a. Good sized box. Yeah, just something for your goodies. Um, like I said before, it's got driving lights uh, that come on automatically when it's running, it's got full hydraulic steering. got an easy ex easy access lines yep got uh, tow hooks in the front in case you want to yank on something uh, it's got a receiver in the front as well as one in the back uh, the uh, springs and all that stuff tell me when you're ready go up on the springs and all that's running. Okay, it's got coil spring suspension all the way around with adjustable bump stops inside of them. So for the most part, the reason that is that way is you can adjust the bump stops for how much, you know, how much you want to load it down. If it loads down to the bump stops from that point on, the suspension will stop and you can load it down until the tires pop at that point. 
but um, it's got front and rear sway bars so when you load it you're not, it's not sitting all crooked and stuff and it's flopping off to one side so it's got inch and a half diameter sway bars front and back the control arms are all triangulated four link so and it, it's all heavy duty the bottom bars are two inch solid stock the top are inch and a three quarter solid stock with heavy duty what they call crawler joints on them so they're uh, pretty much last, designed to last a lifetime of this truck um, the whole bottom is completely skid plated the differentials are skid plated and protected the all the control arm um, brackets are skid plated the whole bottom is completely skid plated with quarter inch plate so you can roll anything underneath it that you want to nothing underneath there can get hurt so you can skitter over the rocks or whatever you got to do um, this is the, all the drivetrain is pretty much half ton truck only just all narrowed up but it's real standard stuff it's Dana 44 front uh, Dana 44 axle joints etc real simple to get but trying to keep it simple so if, if anything needed to be replaced in the future um, it could just be bought at the local auto parts um, brakes uh, it, same thing you know just regular GM style disc brakes so all that be simple um, what else well, big old fat tires on it too them them could change if you want them to yeah it's a 33 inch tires um, so you know but it's just a 1533 six lug half ton Chevy boat pattern all the way around with lockout hubs on it um, so it's pretty standard stuff pretty heavy duty the frame is all designed to carry a load a heavy load whatever you want to you know should handle quite a bit it's all bridged do them holes okay underneath here this tube right here is removable really this is an air tube for uh, cooling system um, it's just air is all that comes through it but that can that comes off real just with a couple screws out of each end and these holes behind it are access holes uh, to for tuna in the future so if you need the spark plug spark plug wires etc it's got um, easy access holes back there so it's easy to get to this is the power unit for the hydraulics um, and I'll get to that whenever in a few minutes it's got extra power lugs out here plus extra power outlet for 12 volt for running a winch or whatever else you might want to it's a little too bright oh, okay um, the suspension is the same all the way around the springs are the same the shocks are the same Let's see if we can find them. Where's them bump stops? Okay. Adjustable bump stops. Bump stops are on the inside of the coil springs. And they're adjustable through. So one, this is one inch diameter with rubber bumps on it. Okay, so you screw them down. Yeah, you just loosen this nut, adjust them to wherever you want it, tighten the nut back down. Yep. That, that, you know, you don't want something you're gonna load it down and you know, have it all you know, flat down on you. So it'll just come down, hit those stops, and and the axles are bridged and the frame of course is the way it's built is bridged so it'll it can haul pretty much whatever you can fit on it I would think and that's the bridging right there yeah the axle is fully bridged all the way across pretty much the same back here other than um, you know it's got there's the axle bridging just yep. so you get an idea axle bridge so the housing could not be bent uh, and again it's all skid plated back here also so that the uh, housings are protected all braided yeah all braided uh, brake lines and hoses uh, again back to typical uh, general motors disc brakes on the back also so you know pads and rotors and etc you might might never need in the future is easy to get not too much else back here actually everything's greasable everything that moves is greasable so you know the deck pins the decks can come off if you want to pull the pins uh, you know in case you know you ever decided to put something different on it what is the height of that hitch uh, I believe that was 
about 20, a little under 26 inches to the center. So depending on what you haul, you have to put whatever. There's some little D-rings that's on it just for you know, safety change or whatever. But that center bar, is that strong enough to yank on? That is, that's what it's made there for. So you can pick the buggy up you with it? You can pick it up with it. I mean, that's, okay. you know, it's, that's what it was put there for. So whatever, you, you know, to yank on things or whatever. Um, the decks. The decks have state pocket configurations all the way around, front deck and rear deck, so that any kind of sides or whatever, uh, you know, the need might be if you needed, you know, to haul wood chips, like I said, you know, or whatever, uh, you can haul telephone poles one day, put some sides on it, wood chips the next day. Hunters the next day, dancing Hunters girls the next day. Boat, yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, these rails are put on all the way around for <clears throat> tying stuff down. So it's got a place to grab onto all the way around it, wherever you got to strap anything down. Here, uh, I'm going to set this down and show you. Uh, this also this also comes with it, and this is a uh, step that locks in. Anywhere around the buggy. And if you want it permanent, put a screw in it. Yep, so if you got something, you got to get off and on it up, you know, a bunch of times. You know, you got a nice step to get off and on. And it's plenty high off the floor. What do you got? Uh, to the top of the deck is 41 inches. The bottom of the step. The first step is 21 inches. So you got a lot of ground clearance for that to leave it there. Yeah, so. Just something a little extra handy to, uh, um, you know, if, if, if the need arose. But this, this will fit in any um, any slot all the way around both sides, up and down both sides. So just something a little bit handy to. Fuel cell? Let's show the fuel cell. Okay. Fuel tanks under the seat. It's an easy cap, too. Pretty simple. What's under the box? This box? Yep. Okay, fuel pumps there. Easy access. Yep, easy access. Everything I, I tried to make it so if you, you know, it's auto parts, easy to get to, easy to work on. Um, the engine is fuel injected. And the computer is right here. Pretty weatherproof. Right, yep, it's got rubber. It's protected with a rubber boot. Um, this dash with a couple screws comes off and unplugs. So for adding extra power, or needing to get underneath there and do anything, or et cetera, et cetera, easy on, easy off again. Underneath here is the fuse box. It's all the fuses for whatever it needs. Everything is fused and um, the this is the coolant reservoir keep an eye on that uh, these are all the hydraulic lines for the hydraulic steering it's a typ typical uh, orbital valve and anything like found on a tractor or, um, pretty simple stuff but it's all bent and stainless and uh, okay now we're gonna go to the action shots okay. yep let her fly <laughs> cylinders? Uh, yep, it's got twin cylinders on the back that are power up and power down. Uh, so it's got a lot of uh, hydraulic power back here to, to dump pretty much, I think it's rated like 10,000 pounds. So if you can figure out a way to get 10,000 pounds on it, it'll dump it. All brand new drive shafts and everything, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Everything, um, everything that was used, used 
as far as the engine had was a low mileage engine transmission except was together uh, but it was uh, 30 40 thousand mile uh, takeout stuff so it's in really good shape I went the axles have been rebearing and resealed everything is brand new or um, gone through so to make sure it was good to go for a long time he was yep all the exhaust system is heat wrapped just to protect it and keep you know the heat down and the noise down I traded it mostly for the noise I wanted it, this buggy to be as quiet as I could possibly get it and it worked out really well uh, it's got a gear drive transfer case uh, the um, uh, oh the engines a 4.3 v6 real standard uh, General Motors uh, the transmission uh, is a 4l 60e overdrive transmission it's a later model one so it's the good heavy duty uh, you know, should last a lifetime of whoever ends up with this thing easily. So is that oversized radiator? Yep, aluminum radiator with double fans. It's actually got a pusher and a puller. Um, uh, you know, for a little extra cooling. Um, up front is another is the cooling fan and the oil coolers. It has a separate uh, engine oil cooler and transmission oil cooler up front. Um, that's both of those. It's got, like I said, four wheels, got power disc brakes. Uh, again, this is still just stuck with General Motors, so it's easy stuff to, to ever have to deal with later. Uh, the engine itself, like I said, 4.3 V6. Uh, it's just straight up standard every day. Uh, they used them in S10s, you know, Astro vans, you know, just pickup, half ton pickup trucks. Pretty pretty standard. Okay, so now my engine got broke. What am I going to do? Okay, well, if, the, if you want to take the engine out, um, there's a, there's a, uh, this cross member is removable, that cross member is removable, this shaft comes out, and all, then you just disconnect as, as far as your uh, electric, and uh, uh, there's a few hoses, a couple of hoses, your fuel lines, of course, which are right here. Everything's, that's all quick disconnect. But the nice thing is once you do that, there's the motor mounts and drive shafts. This whole engine, transmission, transfer case, cooling system, everything will lift out in one piece without even having to drain the cooling system. It's all together. So the whole thing would lift out. Uh, if for some reason this, the transmission or transfer case ever had to come out, and also from the bottom, the skid plate comes off the bottom. It's got a removable cross member at the back, so that's easy to, uh, to iron iron. Um, just trying to make it super simple for later on, you know, down the road. It's got main circuit breakers in it. Um, uh, main circuit breaker here. And then there's the, the main, everything's main fused right up here. Which is there. This is a main fuse and it's got a big circuit breaker there. That's for all the, you know, your main heavy duty 12 volt power in case something was ever to, to go wrong. And again, like even everything that moves and turns is all greasable. So um, the frame itself is boxed. And also, all, any where the load points are has three quarter inch plate at all stress points, all the way, all four corners. Um, it's probably easier to see it back here. Which is all the way down the insides of both, okay? Now these are at all four corners so that, you know, nobody can bend it. The chassis, not only is the frame is all boxed, but it's also bridged. This is all tube chassis, okay? This is all tube, and what that does is if you actually visualize an upside down bridge over water or over a road, it's the same thing only upside down, so, um, so that, uh, you know, it's very strong. It cannot, you cannot bend it this way. So that you got the main frame, and then it's all completely bridged all the way up. And then, uh, like I said, where the suspension actually hits, this is all extra plated on the inside. All the hinging too, holy cow. All the hinging, all the cylinder hinging, Everything is greasable. Three quarter inch steel plate hinging. Yeah, three quarter hinges. 
Yeah, somebody's got it's built very heavy duty. It weighs, you know, it's four thousand three hundred pounds. But you know, it's I tried spring to build buckets, it. spring buckets and mounts, holy cow. Yeah, I tried to build it to last a lifetime. So And not your standard backyard welding either. No, everything's, uh, I'd be surprised if anything ever. Um, this top of this cage does come off. Okay, the cages, uh, there's two bolts in each corner, plus a, a plug right there that unplugs the lights. And this top half can come up, will come right off. So if you had to get it in a low area, um, uh, this was in the way. You could shrink this right down to, um, to flat with the top of the deck. You know, steering the wheel, seat, dashboard, seat, yeah. the whole thing comes off. No, 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 not steering wheel and dashboard. So your steering wheel is going to be your top height. The, the steering wheel will be top height. This top roll cage comes off. Okay. Uh, the steering wheel does come off. You know, if you ever want to do, but you know. <laughs> we'll keep somebody from taking off with it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's our uh, security. Um, the decks, the top of the deck, surface, uh, the floor surface, all this is vinyl lined, or uh, not, I'm not sure what the brand is, but it's a spray-on bed liner, so it's got bed liner on the, on the deck surfaces and on the floor of the driver's compartment. Um, it's got some extra attachments for this left on here for, uh, is we're gonna be snow plow brackets, uh, but for whatever somebody might need some little extra for. But. Cool. Okay, the front deck tilts 45 degrees, um, which is pretty typical. The rear deck will dump 70 degrees. It tilts 70 degrees, so whatever's in it is coming out. So it's like a bullet shield. Uh, it, whatever is in it is coming out. <laughs> yep. So this one's, this one's 70, that one's 45. Uh, uh, the, did you want me to say anything about the hydraulic unit? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. The hydraulic unit, um, this one, they're pretty simple. Um, this has extra valving on it, so that it has, does have a couple extra ports for if something hydraulic later on in the future wanted to be added to it, it can be. So this is just the reservoir tank, the motor, and for this style of uh, power unit, you can, these are, these are, this is the valving for it here. So valves can be added with different ports for if something else hydraulic ever wanted to be used or needed to be used. It's got plenty of tank too, huh? Yeah, plenty of tank. So, um, so there is, you know, nice little extra provision for that. And like I said, there's extra power out here, you know, for something that needs to be powered up out here. Uh, some, these are, uh, power lugs also, so it's got two spots for external power out here. It'll come with the the other end of the, the plugs into this. So, you know, for somebody where I want to put a winch or uh, you know, just anything they needed. Seed back. spreader, salt spreader, yeah, seed broom, spreader, salt power spreader, broom. <laughs> yep, whatever they needed. Uh, it's got a hundred amp or a hundred five amp charging system in it. So I mean, it really does a pretty good job. So. Those decks can close up individually also.
Six feet, 72 inches.